Hey everybody, Michael Tiny Saul. Today is Monday, April 18th at 10.33 p.m. And this is the Forex video for April 19th, 2011. Let's start off with the Euro. And remember, all management is based on what the video would do based on my analysis. It's not any recommendation. I don't know how you're trading it, but I'm just going to speak uh, as if the the video was taking it as I talked about yesterday. Okay, so, I mean, that's the only way I can do it because I don't know how you're trading. I don't know if you're scalping, holding, small portfolio, big portfolio. So, um, just to be aware of that as, as we go through all these. All right, so, for the Euro, we were looking for a break either way. Wound up breaking down. The first target was tagged, which was the midline of the Keltner channel, which is a 20 period, which is just a 20 period moving average. That's what a Keltner is. This is a 20 period moving average with uh, two, eight, two and a half ATRs on each side, two and a half ATRs up, two and a half ATRs down. Okay, so uh, if it's a one unit trade and you took profits at the midline, that's fine. If not, then move stops to 42, yeah, 42.83. If it's a multiple unit trade and half was taken, stops on the rest would be 4283. Looking for a break of Monday's lows. If Monday's lows are broken, trail stops down. Trail stops down. Go from 4283 to 4200 even. Okay? And uh, same thing with one unit. Keep trailing it down, trailing it down, trailing it down. Let the market take you out. Here's the Aussie dollar. Nothing set up here for Monday. Uh, now for Tuesday, don't really see much here. But we'll continue to watch this over the next few sessions, something they uh, set up. Then here's the end. The end broke. The moving average uh, came shy of the 38% retracement. Somebody said, oh, it was a nice call on the end. I, I didn't really do any analysis on the end, so I'm not going to book uh, you know, book this for the video as a, a winner. All I said was that I thought maybe the bulls would come back in. They didn't. We didn't break above Friday's highs, but... You know, I think I mentioned that if it broke below the midline, we would uh, test the 38% retracement. But that was just more of an observation, not an actionable signal. Uh, here's the Swiss. The Swiss stopped out the second half or the one unit if you were continuing to trail stops down. This was a nice trade, uh, So, but it's gone now. It came up and took out this last high, which uh, we were looking at either this high or this high, whichever one. Uh, it stopped out on Monday. So it was a nice trade, a nice trailing stop on that one. Here's the loonie. I think the loonie will set up in the next session or two, but I don't see anything here. Here's the euro pound. Broke through the moving average. Watch these lows down here uh, at 87.13. Watch them for support. Here's the euro Swiss. Watch the lower Keltner channel line as the um, next support point to watch. That's the euro Swiss. Here's the euro Aussie. I talked about this being a possible breakout, fakeout move. It triggered on Monday. But as you could see on Tuesday, it's already coming back here. So I would just move stops from here to break even. And it's it, you could see it probably hit that on the little nub up on Tuesday. So just move it there for now. It's a real tight stop. And uh, just move on if, if it were to stop out. That's how we're going to manage it here. Here's the Euro Kiwi. Okay, I don't see a signal yet on that one. Here's the pound. The pound broke down out of the triangle. Got the first target. Kept going. And then came back up. So more than likely, a trailing stop would have been uh, triggered here, but it was a nice gain. If not, break even stops from here and uh, look to see if it takes out Monday's lows. Here's the pound kiwi. Uh, I think this one could get to the midline, but just an observation. No actionable signal there. Here's the euro yen. Okay, went down and uh, broke the moving average here. Once again, just an observation at this point, watching the lower Keltner line here. Here's the Swiss yen. Came just shy of this middle line. I talked about this uh, consolidation up here. So if profits were not taken, look to take a piece off around here and trail stops. This was, was a nice trade. Wound up being a, a pretty good trade. That's the um, that's the Swiss yen. Here's the Aussie yen. The Aussie yen fired off. Also a real nice trade here. Tagged the moving average. Stop should be break even at a minimum, and partials should be taken. If not, um, it's below the the moving average now, so no big deal to take them there. And then if it breaks, uh, it breaks Monday's lows. Trail, 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 trail the stops. See where this one will go. That was three trails. Trail, 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 trail. Stop. Maybe four. All right. Here's the uh, pound yen. Broke the midline. Like I said, no actionable signal there. Waiting on this one. 
Here's the pound Swiss. The pound Swiss did fire off, but came back in. Did not take out the stop. So right now we're in no man's land. If this breaks Monday's low, move stops to break even immediately. Okay? And if not, we're still using the stop up here. But if it breaks Monday's low, move stops immediately. And we're watching this lower Keltner line for the first target. Here's the Aussie Swiss. Aussie Swiss also fired. Did not take out the stops. It looks like, oh, well, well, it went above Monday's high, right? It did, but not before it triggered. Okay, you can see here it triggered, and then it did not go above Monday's highs. And right now, it's it's a little bit underwater, not by much. Uh, I guess you could just say it's, it's gargling the water, right? It's not drowning yet. So uh, 56 gain on this one, half off, and stops to entry. So 50 tick gain, half off, and stops to entry, looking for the second half to tag this lower counter line if it gets a big move. Here's the Kiwi Swiss. Okay, Kiwi Swiss, nothing setting up here yet. Here is the Looney Swiss. Okay, the Looney Swiss is still in a consolidation here. So we could bracket this and look for a break either way on this. Okay. And finally, here is the Kiwi Looney. Looks like it wants to come back in and retest that midline, but no actionable signal. That's it. I'll talk to everybody again with Wednesday's update tomorrow night. Have a great trading day on Tuesday.